Now, in this lesson, we're asked which is the same as 0 0.2 times 10. Now, here we are given a couple options. We have given A, 5 over 1 times 10 over 1, B, 1 fifth times 10 over 1, C, 1 over 10 or 1 tenth times 5 over 1, and in D, we have 2 over 1 times 10 over 1. Now, by process of elimination, right? Obviously, um, since 0 0.2 is multiplying 10, we would have known that since this is 1 over 10, then this would definitely be out because the 10 is re really, when a number is written by itself, it's over 1. So this could also be expressed as 10 over 1. So we're looking for something times 10 over 1, really, not 10 in the denominator. No. If you look, the, the other three options has that, so we, we now need to make a judgment. Now, what I'm asking myself here now, I have a 0 0.2 times 10 over 1. Now, I need to know what is 0 0.2 as a fraction, okay? So, let's just quickly convert 0 0.2 to a fraction and see, see what it will result into. Now, quickly, I'll just draw for my place value chart again, just to give you a quick... Um, illustration of what I'm speaking about. Now here's my chart. Now let's take this number 0 0.2. Now I'm going to write 0 0.2 in my place value chart and my 0 is exactly in front of the decimal point so I'm going to place it right there and the orange line vertical line represent my point and the 2 will be would be fall in the tenth column. All right. Now I, I'm converting the 0 0.2 to a fraction, as I've stated before. So what, I'll, what I'm doing, um, since I'm converting to a fraction, I'm going to take the face value of the digit, which is 2. So I'm going to say 2. Let me just do the workings here. Let me just do the workings over here, okay? So this is the workings to convert a decimal to a fraction. I'm going to take the face value 2 and I'm going to multiply it by the place value and it's in the tenths, tenths column, all right? So I'm multiplying it really by 1 over 10. And 2 times 1 over 10, I'll have a, I could put this over 1. So I will have 2 into itself goes 1 time and 2 into 10 goes 5 times. So up here I would have a 1 times 1 it would give me a 1 and down here I would have a 1 times 5 will give me a 5 so point 2 so therefore we can conclude that therefore 0 0.2 is the same as 1 over 5 okay both have the same value so really what I'm looking for I am looking for 1 fifth times 10 over 1. That's what I'm looking for here. And here in part B, we have it, okay? We would have 1 fifth here in part B times 10 over 1. So this would be our correct answer, all right? And it's, it's that easy, all right? Feel free to leave a comment or a question if you're not sure, and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Bye-bye.